Let's graph the equation y equals x squared plus 3, and we'll do this using a table of values here. So the way we'll do this, we'll put a value in for x and then figure out what value of y we get. So once we do that for different values, we'll have some points here. We can plot them and we'll have our graph for y equals x squared plus 3. The points we choose, we really could choose any points, but we really want it to fit on the graph paper here. If we choose a really big number, it might be off the graph. So let's choose, how about 2, 1, 0, negative 1, and negative 2. So if we put 2 in for x, 2 times 2, 2 squared, that's 4 plus 3, we get 7. If we put 1 in, 1 squared is 1, 1 plus 3, that gives us 4. 0 squared, that's just a 0. So we end up with a 3 here. Negative 1, when we multiply negative 1 by negative 1, we get positive 1. So 1 plus 3 is 4. And then if we put negative 2, negative 2 squared, that's 4 plus 3, that gives us 7. So these are the points that we'll graph for this equation here, this y equals x squared plus 3. So 2 on the x-axis and then 7 on the y. We have 1 on the x and then we go to 4. We have 0 on the x and 3 on the y. And then we have negative 1, 4, and negative 2, 7. So we can connect these points here to get our graph. Let's pull this down here. And then we can move these up some. Put arrows up here to show that it goes to infinity. And this is the graph for y equals x squared plus 3. You can see that we have a parabola. What's interesting is if we just had y equals x squared, that would look like this. We just move this down to 0. y equals x squared plus 1, that would just be here. y equals x squared plus 2, and then y equals x squared plus 3. So you can see what's happening. If we had y equals x squared plus negative 3, that would be down here. So our equation was y equals x squared plus 3. Let's put it back there. That's our graph. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.